Hey everyone, Game Hunter here, and we have with us today a game. This was, in fact, my first breakout game from the Doom RL stuff. Of course, I haven't gotten back to Doom RL, but that's another story. This is Frozen Depths. And this was the first blind roguelike I played as an LP. I'm sure the I'm sure the session wasn't incredibly interesting to watch back in the day, but I have come a long way and hopefully we can make things nice and cracker poppy jack. So, uh, and of course, quite obviously, we are using Not I again. So this time, uh, I suppose we can just kind of take a look immediately at the, um, there's a known shortcut. Man, I don't remember including all helpful treasures. You know, it's been a while. I think I'm going to leave it at just the normal. Yeah. Now let's go with Dwarf this time. Uh, dwarf Warrior, perhaps, just to make things simple. Just to make things very simple indeed. And we'll go one-handed weapon plus she eld. Hum, dumb drum. I wouldn't even know what I should get here. But let's go Vitality. Uh, my name, my name is... Ugh. Orst. Orst standard. Oh, I can't even. I can't fit that much. Okay, Orst it is then. <laughs> and now, the most amazing ambient music in the world. But uh, uh, there'll, there'll be a name for it in the description. Uh, needless to say, it is quite the piece, and I like it. I love it ever so. So this is this is what it looks like in ASCII, more or less. This is how it looks on the console, pretty much. Not perfect, maybe, but pretty good anyway. So, you know, this is this is how you play the game normal, normal ways. Just fighting everything, having a, a grand old time, playing the game as was often intended. Oh yes, this uh, this game has like champion enemies. I always thought that was kind of cool. It was very Diablo-esque in that, in that, to that extent. You don't see that a whole lot. I mean, you see sometimes bosses and stuff, but champions, not so much. In any case, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other possibilities, such as Tile Mode. Uh, this is the one I kind of want to try show off in, in this instance. Uh, maybe let's, let's actually move to, uh, I think, Double Mini Tiles usually looks best in my opinion so I think that's a pretty cool way to, to show the game off though because it uses generic tiles for sure but it, it adds a whole new life to the ASCII by providing a proper background to most of the most of the stuff that you see so that's why I think it's pretty cool oh man I'm better with shields I don't even remember how half this game plays out <laughs> um, we should yeah take a quick look at our abilities to look at things, such as player info, which shows all of the things I can be good at and all the things I probably won't be good at, <laughs> um, as well as just overall statnesses. And yes, there's the whole temperature thing, and there, these are all the boosts I get. I think for leveling up that I can get if I want. So, yes, indeedy weedy. Um, and this is the style that potentially any game uh, given a fairly simple layout or something. I'm not exactly sure on the details. Perhaps Mr. Zeno would like to explain somewhere uh, at some point in time. Oh, okay. But tile mode, because this thing kind of just comes with its own tile set that you can work with, uh, essentially means that... Oh, crap. Uh, what is the... What's the examine button in this game? L for look. Oh, that didn't work. Capital L? Capital L. There's a caribou. Crap. I think caribous are kind of tough. Okay, good. Not too hard, though. That would be a bit too much. Is there an auto explore? Probably not. You know, most games don't actually have that. It's more of a convenience than anything. It requires... I don't know what it requires, but it, it, it does stuff. It does stuff. Uh, there's a body hugging a bag. Man, there's two? These poor people. Just... Yep, I think I'll take it. Linen socks. Snowy potion. So let's go ahead and... 
I think linen socks are something I can equip, so let's see. There's use, perhaps? Huh. Oh, maybe I have to go to, like, the equip screen. Yes, indeed. Yeah, there's a lot of different things to equip in this game. And it's cool, because you have... You have your weapon stuff, so that's simple enough. Uh, and you have your defensive slots, basically. Your, your defensive... Um, equipment. Which is normally what you'd have, and of course you have your amulet and your rings. But in addition to that, you also have this, this area for your... Um, for your temperature. And that's the big thing about this game is that you don't have, and of course you got swap weapons for a very handy convenience, but uh, more importantly, this game, instead of a hunger mechanic, it uses temperature mechanic. And the, the whole point of Frozen Depths is that you're constantly losing body heat. And uh, in order to stay alive, you essentially need to find sources of, of heat. Uh, either through certain types of food, like, you know, volcanic honey and fiery onions and whatnot, or just by bundling up properly. And that can be done and handled with, uh, you know, by finding stuff like this. Uh, if you notice, it does improve, it says, like, base plus. I suppose I don't know what that actually means. Excuse me. But it has, it certainly has an effect on things. Superior bi- oh! Darn, darn, narfingus. We need to get through that ice. Oh, crap. Um, I hope I'm not dead. I think I'm dead. Probably. Yeah, I'm dead. Man, that sucked. And it was almost dead, too. Yeah, I didn't do that. I didn't do that too well. There were better ways to have done that. Potion of certain death. I forgot that those were... I forgot that those... Uh, the snowy potion was random. I thought it actually had to do with whatever. So anyway, I just kind of died, and that was silly. And there were skill points I hadn't actually used, and there's all that. So we need to try again. We just need to try again. Take me to that main entrance. I'm going to do the same thing because I'm silly, and I don't really understand the concept of replayability in video games, obviously. But yes, we do have skills. Oh, whoops. That was... Yeah, change the quick skill. Uh, so that's something I could have used, perhaps, to save my buttocks. Uh, oh, what what are we on? Because it's not showing everything properly. Hold on. Oh, it moved back to tile mode. Huh. Anyway, double mini tiles is what I prefer. So, right, we have that, and then we can see that it actually shows... Uh, quick use skill... Change fighting. Oh yes, that's another thing in this game. There's five different fighting styles depending on uh, kind of what you want. Aggressive, I think, in the end, most of them change just things like two hit, damage, and evasion modifiers. Where are you? There you go. Uh, so there's all of that. That's a crude copper sword. That's no fun. That is no fun at all. But I suppose there is the potential for dual wielding in this game, I think. Yeah, two weapon combat. So if I really wanted it. But I know there's a way to, to change skills around. Chat with a sage? Oh yeah, right. That's, that's if you have that. Um, oh, there we go. Use skills and learn a skill. So these are all the skills I can get. But they all require various stats. And that, this is the thing that you really need to, to look into uh, when you're playing the game is that you need to, to adjust your stats accordingly in order to get the skills you want more than anything. Uh, for example, I might want to get a Vampiric Strike, uh, which is what? I need extra strength, I need some, lots of stamina, uh, and then I'll have to be level 6 for it, so that sort of thing. Goodness. Come on, smash that ice block. Good, good. Uh, kill that chameleon. Wooden Shield, Willow Bow. Uh, linen socks. What fun. Get more of them linen socks. Just use them. Yeah, there's durability in this game, so you do have to worry about things falling into disrepair. Which is why you might not necessarily want uh, to be wearing... Oh, wow, lots of stuff. But uh, darn it, I don't mean to do that when I do it. Linen, and then uh, linen. Okay, all that good stuff. But yeah, eventually it can wear out. 
and so you have to be a little careful about what you're wearing. For instance, if you don't want to lose that sort of stuff, you might want to only wear it in combat and take it off if you are planning on entering combat soon. So, that sort of ness that goes on in this game sometimes. Uh, another wooden shields. Yeah, I always steal from these. Leather jacket. Very cool. I don't think I have anything for that yet. So there we go. Excelente. Oh, yes, right. There is a, there's a run button in this game, right? Did I just... I could have sworn I just, like, did that. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. Huh. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I thought it happened, but maybe it didn't. In any case. We need to go and find everything about this floor that we possibly can. Kill frost crabs. Uh, but yeah, I think if you wanted to, if you had a tile set that you wanted to use for a game like this, you can actually install it. Uh, working with Not I isn't extraordinarily simple, but I bet there are. It's a fairly easy process if you know what you're doing. Uh, so that's always cool. I think that would be a, a very sweet addition to a game like this. Just kill some arctic chameleons, which are the letter H. Alright, let's go ahead and use this terrifying war cry. Which didn't work a whole lot. It did stuff, though, so I'm not too worried. Uh, How is my durability looking? Not half bad on most of these things. If anything, the, the defensive attacks take up more time. Alright, bat. Fresh blood. Engraving seemed to indicate that a weapon or piece of armor could be placed here. So let's do that. Um, let us do it to our... Well, let's do it to the Krug's Copper Sword here that we're not using yet. Right? Could be... Oh, placed. Um, do I prey on these things? No. Maybe use? That could work. Maybe. Nope. I recall having a problem trying to figure out how to use these last time. Stand covered in fresh blood. Oh, oh, that's that's my skill stuff, right? That is the skills that's going on. So. But, I mean, that's so it's sitting there. But I'm supposed to, like, place it on, which is different. So I don't really, I never think... Oh, there we go! So press use for that. Select a weapon. Now let's just place this one. Uh, select. There we go. Uh, starts gushing, completely covered in blood. So what? I got it back now? Doesn't look like anything changed, so whatever. This is not a big... Oh crap, a big mosquito. Do not like those things. Oh, electric shock. Dang. I need to get my HP back though. If you notice, HP comes back in spurts rather than a slow regen over time. I think that's interesting because then you're not getting a slow trickle. You're, you're kind of healing up to, to big amounts. And perhaps depending on how that works, you can time things out as, as it may seem necessary in some instances. Was there an enemy here? I don't know. So yes, that's, that's another case of things happening. But this is, I mean, this is what you might call just a, a pretty standard, you understand it so you can, oh, well then let's read it. Burst into flames, now there is a blank scroll, you feel closer to the goddess. Well, fantastic. It's blank. Can I use it again? Nope, scroll's blank. Can't pick it up either, so. I don't know if I got lucky or what, but that's what happened. Uh, ooh, caribou, yeah, those things are nasty. Never liked caribous. They have good me. Oh crap! Bleed. Bleed's bad. Bleed basic. I think it, it means that every step you take kind of hurts you. Sharp sticks. Sharp sticks are things I can throw. So let's go ahead and, and stick that in the first slot. And that's what I should be doing here. Thrown weapon. Sharp sticks. And now I can select targets for that. I'm not a bow user. I think warriors can use thrown weapons fairly well. A pink potion. Very cool. Alright. Uh, where is my... Tar oh. Huh. Okay, that's a... Yeah. That's a big potential issue with Nodai. If we go back to plain ASCII just to take a look. Um, 
we can see our cursor and that's a big deal for some console games because the cursor doesn't I mean, literally the cursor is not translating to tile mode hmm well I suppose that's a potential improvement I don't I guess you would have to like you know make a, a ret reticle or whatever I think what F to confirm target and then this enter current target F select a target Z to exit what's the button to attack then yes that's right check pushing buttons enter doesn't do squat um Oh, that says change range targets. How do I just use... How do I just use it? Oh, there we go. So just T. T to hit. Right. I forgot that's how, that's how this game works. You select your target before combat, and then you just press T to constantly throw at said target. It's cool. It's cool. I, I can dig it. I can dig it. Ah, crap. Blood. How does a dustamite cause bleeding on me? Please die. Oh, barnacles. That's not a good... Okay, good. Phew. Phew. Willy-nilly, phew. Alright, let's actually... Why did I go all the way around for that? And maybe I should have waited a little bit before doing this. Okay, well, it's dead. And that's also good. The gems and stuff are used as a sense of collecting gold over time. That's not something... Well, that eventually you reach a sage in this game, and they can sell you stuff, and they'll also buy stuff from you. But you can also use it as sacrifices to the goddess, if I'm recalling things correctly. So There's a variety of things you can do in this game. And it's pretty cool when you figure them out. But that's part of the roguelikes, is figuring stuff out. Kappa Flail. Kappa. You know, I've been listening to some of my recordings lately, and I've noticed that when I use the, the funny accent sometimes, it just doesn't it doesn't translate somehow, and it, it, I just sound stupid when I say things. So I'm going to try to be real proper and formal with all of my wordage from now on. I'm sure that's going to stick. <laughs> all right, so what are we looking at here with the, with the flail? I mean, deals more? Is that what I'm looking at? Maybe it just, I want to start using that from now on, because it deals more damage. Abandoned camp here, the flames warm you while you stand. So that's, that's important, because if you notice, uh, temperature increasing quickly, but what is my current, like, body temperature? I don't know, but, oh yes, I think that's actually represented by your character and how they look. As you get colder, it actually starts turning blue and whatnot. Which is pretty cool. I rather like the mechanics of this game. This game doesn't really receive a lot of notice, but you know, it's it's pretty cool. I think it deserves some attention, <laughs> which is, I guess, the reason I'm playing it again. All right, so we got more equipment to pick and choose and place on myself. There we go. Uh, oh, and a cap too. Hold on. And a cap. So that linen hat is really overgrown larvae. Dag, man. But otherwise, other than the mechanics, of course, it is very just move and kill. Oh, whoops. I forgot that those aren't corpses. I think, as a matter of fact, I've left some around when I should not have. Uh, which is unfortunate, but I'm not going to be playing this for very long, so it's not going to be much of an issue. Uh, but another leather jacket. Very cool. In fact, okay, I still have the other one. Do I? Yes, I do. Quite a bit, as a matter of fact. But I have yet to level up, or I think even really get all that close to leveling up. Alright, finally we got a full set of linen. Happy for that. Happy for that. You know, decreasing slowly stuffs, but it still works out. Linen Mittens. I just love the name of that. It makes it all... It's almost rhymy, but it's not quite. But yeah, so there's that. Oh... Okay, but I think this is cool, and yes, I think that if given proper uh, methods... Oh, an archer, I should have been aware of that. And there we go, I finally got my level. 
So we can select attributes to train, and I think that, yeah. And then we get a bonus attribute. Hopefully, either strength or stamina. Ah, oh, dexterity. I guess that's not the worst thing, though. <laughs> Certainly not. Um, and at this point, we can decide what we want to get. Hand... Well, I'm always a big fan of just things that always come in handy, so we'll go with extra speed. Extra speed can always be in handy. Even if it's not a lot, it can make a difference over time. And we got a lot wow, we got a lot of HP from that from that level up. Look at that. That's a lot several items. I guess all of this is take everything. Take everything I can. Because you can hold a lot in this game. Uh, I don't even know if you have I'm sure you have a limit. But you can hold a lot. So you don't have to worry about those problems for a long time. Darn ravens pecking my eyes out. That's what they do, you know. Oof. Oh. A lava bath. Oh, man. Um. Yeah, look at my socks. My socks took a big hit there. Quite a big hit. Slush monster. Yeah, those. the slush monster, I imagine, kind of knocked my... My temperature down a bit. I could have sworn the temperature, as a as a matter of how good you were, showed up besides with your, with your character icon, but because <laughs> I'm not having any issues yet, that's for sure. A little mittens, always a fun time. I have to admit the inventory screen reminds me ever so slightly of like Dwarf Fortress going on almost. I don't know why. It's not exactly like that. There's more than a few differences on there for th such things, but that's what it gives me the impression of, so. Who's to complain? It's just a cat. It's a domesticated cat and everything. Alright. Just pick up everything I can find until no more is found. Uh, oh, bad. I want to start throwing things, but I keep forgetting. Because it's, in it's important to level up your your abilities while you can. And I don't suppose, yeah, I can't just do that. But So there we go. And that's another floor concord. Another floor concord. And then we just go down to this one. And there we go. And yeah, enemies can show up over time. So you want to just keep moving about whenever possible. I believe you can just kind of make stashes if you want, though, because most enemies... You've become ill. Well, dang... Yeah, sickness, you usually want to wait it out, if I'm recalling. Either that, or get something to make yourself warm. Fever, I, if, I, if I recall, fevers actually help. Okay, good. I stopped getting sick. I feel healthier. Good. Um, but, I, if I recall, fevers actually help you get your sickness over, done, and done with. Which makes sense, because that's the whole point of fevers in your body, is to is to basically burn the disease out of you. Flintstones. Flintstones help you make fires. Especially campfires that were, you know, once lit but are no longer. I don't know... I, th I don't think you can actually really... Oh, crap. I'm fumble? Hold on. What did, that, what did it say? Oh, yes, right. It, it smacked me in the... We can do the accuracy of your motions considerably. I always forget to, to to change this stuff, but it's probably important to do an accurate attack when you're when you're out of stuff. For the most part, I believe I just kind of stick to aggressive, unless I'm in a pinch, because that helps kill things very quickly, and then you don't have to worry about stuff just happening in general. So yes, that's the way you play, especially with a warrior. I mean, maybe with different classes you would do different styles and I might switch to fast occasionally just in case it's an enemy that is uh, rather easy to get killed by but is slow and there are enemies like that so yes indeed lump of willow copper halberd two-handed weapons I'm never going to use in the whole wide world and that's another one uh, but there, certainly there is a reason that you can start 10 floors, I think it's roughly 10, 10 floors later. Uh, and that is because the early game does play rather slowly. It lets you pick up all a bunch of potentially good stuff, but, you know, it's not... 
not a lot of action going on, that's for sure. Not a lot of action. Darn fumbling going on. What did that fall about? And then I guess I'll just make this the last floor that we do. Because as you can see, there really isn't too much going on. Which is unfortunate. I'd, I'd rather show stuff off, but sometimes the game just doesn't have it happen. There are a lot of random bits and pieces here and there. But for the most... Oh, yes. Wait. Again, I feel like I just did a big, a big movement there. I don't know how I did that. Wait, what? How did I... Hmm. I could have sworn you could do a run in this game, though. Why is it not showing me that? I don't know. Oh, wait. Is this... Hold on. <laughs> I need to see if the screen's messing things up a bit. Um... Oh, yeah. I guess it shows a lot more. Uh, run or wait longer. So yes, like that. Just press W. So yes, there are some issues for sure. And if I was using mini tile mode, they probably yeah they would have showed up just fine. I'm a fan of double just because it shows things a little bit better. But uh, I mean, you can also do mini tile. So that's that's a potentiality. But this makes the game go a lot faster too because you just go whoosh. And you just yeah. Then you don't have to worry about things showing up all over the place. And you just kill everything, and everything dies, and it's the best thing ever. Okay. Doot 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 doot. And just every okay, so I'm actually cooling down a bit here. Uh, that's a person, right? That's somebody who I can talk to for reals. Yes, right. Uh, and so they have a lot of different things they can do. Uh, heat and food, you know, is all this stuff. Well, let's go ahead and actually use since I'm cooling down. Um, and if you notice, my character turned white, which is to represent that they they're cooling down. But we can, for instance, go ahead and eat the flame root. Uh, in fact, ah, fine. Let's use the flame root. That actually makes me really hot. And you don't want to use flame roots until you really have to, if I'm not, if I recall correctly, because this can cause me to get a fever, and that's not a good thing to have. In, in combat for sure but it, you know it's something you gotta something you gotta worry about so we got an enemy here let's go ahead and use the wand we found use it go poof uh, strange transparent bolt it slows down so therefore it is a wand of slowing and you gotta use stuff you guys know that I'm even amazed that I bothered to do that but you gotta use stuff in order to figure out how it works. But sometimes I think you throw potions and sometimes, you know, you, you actually drink them. Potion of certain death is going to kill you, so you have to be careful about what you decide what you decide to actually get. So. But that is that is the final floor, and that is what we will leave it at. So this has been Game Hunter playing Frozen Depths with a bunch of tiles. Uh, you know, I could always just show briefly, like, first-person perspective. But this is probably pretty reminiscent of, of, like, the Brogue layout. So, you know, not much not much doing. How come I'm not... Is it... I'm not moving at all. Goodness. Where... Why... Huh. Why is that? Hmm. Can I like was? No, I can't WASD. That is a, that's strange. I wasn't expecting that for sure. And of course, you can do isometric. Oh, that's me. So wait, 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 wait. Oh, ha! The camera's off because there's another at symbol. I guess that can be me. Huh? Funny that. And there it is again. There's the issue. Mini tile mode. Well, mini tile mode can't have that problem because everything shows up. That is awfully interesting, though, that that, that, that can happen. Um, but actually, you know what? Since we have that guy, let's go ahead and just show off what, what potentials there are with him. So, yes. Chat, uh, you can sell stuff. 
Uh, for instance, I mean, what? I, can I sell, like, these? Sell. Okay, yeah, it's not worth much. Uh, the, the stuff that's worth a lot of sell is items of, you know, high caliber. Like, uh, do we even have any? Yeah, we got, like, these things. So you can sell this. And all those are worth, well, each one I think is worth 35. So if I sold all, suddenly I'd have a lot more gold. So, But those are also used in other things, so you don't necessarily want to do that. There's there's a thought into into that stuff. But I guess for the most part, you do want to just pick up everything you can and then sell it to the dude. Fortunately, you can quick sell. Uh, hold on. You can do quick sell right here, for instance. It just, just sells a period. And then you don't have to worry about anything happening because it's already done. But... So there's a little conveniences here and there. I always thought this game was cool. I hope you guys try it out. It may not look like much, but for as far as a roguelike is concerned, uh, while it's not major, it's certainly a great minor one. So, yes. Anyway, this has been Game Hunter uh, stumbling along while he was trying to finish up uh, playing Frozen Depths. So. Join me next time when we look at another game. I think we'll look at another game. We have at least one more that's available to us that we've showcased before. Uh, in playing on the Not I engine. So, yeah. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, everyone, and take care. <laughs>